Joining us with his thoughts, Oklahoma Republican Senator James Inhofe. He is a member of the Armed Services Committee. What would you like to see the president come back from Singapore with, Senator? Well, I, I think two things. Uh, first of all, a verifiable uh, denuclearization, uh, you know, for the whole peninsula there. And, the, and I think that's what the president wants. That's what was repeated by the Secretary of Defense just uh, over the weekend. And I believe that's a reality. But the other thing I think is important is for them to understand in North Korea that we will still maintain troops in that area because since the first deal was made and i remember because i was over there at the time now china has become much more of a threat than they were before and of course we have other reasons uh, to keep troops there but i think the expectations by some people or maybe even by north korea is that we would not do that but we would those are the two main things that i i want to see them come back with and i believe they will so if if the north korean regime were to say okay we will give up our nuclear weapons but you've got to pull your troops out of South Korea. That would be a non-starter for you. That would be a non-starter for me because we have other reasons. And, and I know that Kim Jong-un understands that. Uh, he may make a play uh, for that. But and, and let's looking at it now, we're only talking about just a week from right now that that's going to take place. We don't want the American people to expect too much at one time because the fact that they are together right now or a week from now, that's enough right there to get something started. None of that's happened before and as I stated back when uh, the president first made the statement, I don't remember the exact words but we told Un, he said yeah, you try to do something like something to an American city, we'll blow you off the face of this earth. Now, you got to keep in mind that all started on November 28th, John, because that's when they we discovered they do have the capability of hitting an American city. So uh, I think that the fact that we have a, bullies like Kim Jong-un, they only understand people who are strong people, strong-willed people, and not the mushy types that we've had in our foreign relations uh, uh, in the last 10 years. He has shown some goodwill in recent months. I mean, the, the horrific death of oh. Otto Warmbier aside, um, there have been some signs, I guess you will, from the North Korean regime that they are... Uh, well, Mally, sure. Well, sure, John. Uh, keep in mind, we have our three hostages that came back. Uh, they have uh, destroyed, apparently, the nuclear test site. At least they say they have. We don't know that uh, for sure. But uh, and they have suspended their uh, their nuclear tests. So you, I don't know how we could have asked for more. And some of the Democrats who almost get to the point where they don't want this thing to be successful. But a lot of them are saying they haven't done enough. They have. They. King Jong-un has done more to show the sincerity of what he wants to do uh, than, than any time before uh, to any of the rest of them, whether it's Kim, his father or anybody else who was in at that time. So good things are happening over there. They understand we have a president right now who knows what he's uh, saying, it means what he's saying, and he is frankly, and I just got back from over there just uh, over the weekend, uh, he's to the point right now where he is reestablishing America as the leader of the free world. Mm -hmm. We lost that during the Obama administration. Uh, and so good things are happening over there. Quickly, we mentioned that there are five primary Democrat demands that, that they sent Democrat uh, senators who sent a letter to the White House saying they want five things from the White House. There you see them dismantling and removing nuclear cam and biological weapons, dismantling North Korea's weapons infra infrastructure. We'll continue the list um, as we talk, but the do you feel that the senators are getting too involved in, in negotiating, uh, yeah. trying to negotiate the details of this? Look, look, they failed in the past, and now we have a president that's going to make this happen. We're getting uh, close to the time. It's almost on us now. And so uh, I'm not about to, uh, and I don't, I don't think the president is going to be listening to Republicans or Democrats. He knows how to negotiate. He's going to be negotiating. And let's let someone who knows what he's doing do it for a change. And Senator James Inhofe, Republican from Oklahoma. Thank you, sir. Thank you, John.